When you first log into the web user interface, you're going to see this message. Uh, your connection isn't private. This is perfectly normal. Continue to log in just by hitting advanced and click on continue. Later in the configuration process, you can apply your own signed certificate uh, from your organization and you'll, you won't see that message in the future. When we log in for the first time, we're going to use the default password, admin, admin, A-D-M-I-N, and we're going to be prompted to change that password uh, for the first time. Notice that there is a minimum password strength required, and the details will be included here if you hover over this question mark. Okay. So I'm going to retype in admin and then for my new password I'm going to pick a very secure password that will include one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, one number and one symbol at least with a uh, minimum of eight characters. Once I've typed that in for the second time, I'm going to click continue and we'll see the um, end user license agreement from Eaton. Now after carefully reading this entire document, you can click on checkbox I've read and agree to all the terms above and click continue and now you can see the landing page for the network interface card so there's a lot of information right here on the dashboard uh, in the, the header uh, you will be able to expand and contract the menu here You'll see the name um, and model of the uh, gigabit network card, current device status, your battery and runtime, uh, load outputs, and on the upper right hand corner there is uh, help, contextual help. So whatever page you're on, you'll get uh, you'll you'll get help on that particular page. Uh, as well as a link to the alarms and some uh, administration settings. So your account settings, being able to change your password, logging out, and some legal information. The first section at the top is a synoptic of your UPS, which is a, a, a diagram of all of the uh, functional components of the UPS. We can see that the system is normal. Uh, and that power is flowing from the main utility through our active voltage regulation system on this particular model to the output. If we were to lose power, the battery would uh, take over and provide power through the inverter. You can click and add some measurements to this view for voltage, uh, current, power, load percentage as well as frequency and we can get information about the UPS by clicking on this I and see the model of the UPS, serial number of the UPS, and the firmware revision of the UPS. Below that is uh, a view of the active alarms. Since we just started uh, there are no current active alarms and Currently we have not detected any environmental monitoring probes. But we'll show you how to do that in a minute. If we click on the meters page, you can see at the top there are three tabs. The first tab has measurements for uh, main utility, voltage, current, and frequency, 
as well as the output measurements. The battery tab has a lot of details about the, the battery. And since this is a lithium ion unit, there are even more details about the lithium ion unit that we're getting from the battery management system. Below that, you can see the current battery health. And if you'd like, you can launch a battery test from this location. The third tab is a configuration um, and download for the UPS logs. So you can change uh, the frequency uh, by which you, you take measurements and load them into the UPS logs. And in the upper right hand corner, you can download the UPS logs in uh, a CSV format. So again, for this introduction, we're going to look at the environmental monitoring probe quickly and show you how to discover a probe. These probes are sold separately, so you can contact uh, your reseller if, you, if you'd like to get one. So this first tab is this commissioning status, so we don't see a sensor discovered. I do have one plugged in to this network card, so we're going to click Discover. And there it is, EMPDT1H1C2. And we can see now the temperature, the humidity, and these units have uh, two dry contacts that can sense whether a switch is open or closed. And we are currently communicating. While we're here, let's take a look at some of the alarms that we can configure uh, based on uh, thresholds for temperature and humidity and we can create alarms based on the status of the dry contacts, whether they are open or closed. And the third tab just has some information about the EMP, current firmware revision, the serial number, uh, and some information that may be useful for troubleshooting. That, that's it for the introduction, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.